Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running on iOS 15. Now, iOS 15 has recently been released and it's packed with features and there are a ton of hidden features that you will be able to find on your device and I have about 15 of those in this video so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, that helps out a lot. So we're starting with a new feature of iOS 15 and that's live text. So you can basically use it from anywhere on iOS. Whether you're on a message or a note, you wanna enter text, you can go ahead, tap right here and tap on scan text. And now it shows the camera right here and you will be able to enter text from the camera. But this is like a small window right here. Let's say you have like a huge document or a huge text. What you can do here is just swipe up to go to the full screen mode or of course you can even use it on the landscape mode so just like that you will get like the full screen here and you can go ahead and easily scan text with your device and of course input it on a note on an email or a message wherever you want now let's say you're in safari and you search for anything like in this case i have searched for iReviews and right here it will show my twitter account my basic Let's say you're in Safari and you Google like anything that has basically, let's say you're in Safari and you Google something. In this case, I have Googled myself here, iReviews, and you can see it shows my Twitter and it will show also my Instagram right here. And if you open this, it will basically give you a prompt right there to open it on the app. That what happens, of course, on iOS 14. It will happen on iOS 15 as well, but now you will have a choice to actually 3D touch on this and it will give you the option to open it on Twitter directly from here or any other app, whichever account, of course, whether that's an Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whichever link that has, of course, an app, you will be able to do that and open the link directly from Safari into the app. When you're on Safari and you have your tabs here, you go to the tabs view. Let's say I want to duplicate a tab. So here I have the search. I want to make two of those tabs. All I have to do here is just go ahead and drag this tab like this and just place it right here at the plus sign at the bottom left corner. Release it and now I have two of those tabs. As you can see, just like that, you can easily duplicate your tabs. You probably know that on iOS, you can take a quick video from the photo mode on the camera app simply by tapping and holding right there the shooter button. You tap and hold and you start recording a video. There's a new hidden feature on iOS 15 that allows you to also zoom in and out with that finger. So you tap and hold here and now you can just drag your finger up and down to zoom in and out just like this while recording a video with a quick video mode. That's very, very useful. Anytime you're taking a quick video, remember that you can zoom in and out simply by swiping your finger up and down. Did you know that on the new files app on iOS 15, you can now group files. So you have a few different groups that you can set. So what you need to do is go to folder files, tap the three dots right there at the top. And then once you get this menu, tap on use groups and then right here you will have your groups. So you can see right now it has grouped them by type. So we have folders, images and PDF documents. That's very, very useful. And of course it will make it a lot easier to find the files that you need on the files app. But you can also tap here again, of course, and then you will have here an arrow that will let you see the groups. So you have kind, date and size. So you can group them based on the date they have been saved or of course kind or the size of the files. That will be very, very useful. If you'll use this app, the files app a lot, you will find that new feature very useful. Now here is a really cool one. Let's say you go to settings and you wanna add a new keyboard to your keyboard on iOS, a new language. Well, you will have to go to general and then go of course to keyboard, go to keyboards right there and add a new keyboard. Now, let's say you wanna add one of the keyboards that are like way down here or somewhere in the middle. You will probably have to look around for a few minutes for that. So what you need to do is go ahead and just search it. With iOS 15, you will get the search bar right here. So let's just go ahead, search for Italian. Just right there, you have the keyboard. You can search keyboards very, very easily. And that of course is very convenient to have. You can easily add any keyboard that you want to your iOS keyboard. 
you probably have seen videos of a new feature that has come to iOS 15 and that's background sounds. It's pretty cool, probably a lot of people will use it and on those videos you probably have seen that you will have to go under accessibility and then from here go to audio and visuals and then you will have background sounds here you can enable them here and of course you can select the sounds from here you will have the volume of the sounds choose whether you want to play them when media is playing and of course whether you want to stop them or not when locked well this is not the right way to turn on this feature what you have to do is go ahead and go to your control center settings so go right here go under control center scroll down here and make sure you find hearing if you don't already have that at the top make sure you tap the plus button and now you go to your control center and right there you will have that hearing icon you 3d touch on it and here will have the background sounds this is how you turn them on you can do that quickly from here and you have the background sound now enabled you can tap right there to switch between sounds and of course you can even set the volume of the sound from here that's very easy to do you don't need to dig around on the settings app to find the background sounds to enable them just go to control center right there and just go ahead and turn it on now let's say you're getting a ton of notifications from one of your apps on iOS 15. Well, there is a very easy way to mute those notifications. When you go to your notification center, all you have to do is just swipe on that, tap on options, and you will get the option here to mute them for one hour or for the day. Or if you just want to do it, you can go ahead and move them to the summary right here. And of course, you won't get those notifications anymore. You, do, you will just get them when the summary of the notifications comes in. And of course, you will have them all in one place. So mute them directly from here. Now, a lot of apps now will allow you to customize their notifications. Let me show you an example right here. If I go under notifications and I go here to Instagram, you will see that I have immediate delivery. So let's say I get a ton of like notifications from Instagram. So I want to put them on the scheduled summary. Select here and now you can see a new option will pop up and you will have here always deliver immediately and you have that option for direct messages only. So when I enable this, I will immediately get the notifications from Instagram for my DMs, but I won't get any like likes and comments and stuff like that notifications for that. I will just get notifications for my DMs and that's very, very convenient. Probably most of apps will now on go ahead and allow you to do this. This is very convenient and of course very useful at the same time. In the case that someone sends you a link on iMessage, you can of course tap on it and open it. Now once you open that link on iOS 15, right there at the top it will show you the person who has sent you that link. Now what you can do here is actually, let's say you take a look at the link, maybe it's a website, something interesting, you want to reply for that, you just go ahead and 3D touch there and you will get the option to reply directly from here without having to leave Safari. You reply whatever you want, click done and you're back on that web page. Very cool and of course very useful at the same time. Just reply directly from Safari without having to switch back to the iMessage app. You probably know that you can pin conversations on iMessage. Well with iOS 15 you will also be able to pin links and notes within a conversation. You can see I have this link right here and I will have here another note that I have pinned right there at the top. You will see it, I have pinned that and of course that makes it very, very easy for you to find anything that you have pinned. Of course, this like just basically won't show them at the top but you will have to scroll but there is an easier way of course you just have right there at the top and you will see your pins right here. So any specific like note or link these are the only ones that you can pin as far as I have tested this feature. You can find them quickly from here. On iOS, you can send a voice message by simply tapping and holding this button right here. So you tap and hold, it starts recording. Whenever you're ready to send it, release the finger and you can go ahead and send that message. Well, on iOS 15, all you gotta do is just tap right here and now it starts recording without you having to press and hold the record button. You can leave your hands free, say anything you want, it's still recording as you can see and once you're done you tap the stop button right there and you're good to go. You have your message recorded simply by tapping on the record button. You probably remember on iOS 14 when Apple changed the time picker, they removed the real one, the old one and everyone was pissed. Now that is back with iOS. 
you probably remember on iOS 14 when Apple removed the all time picker, the scrolling wheel one, and everyone was pissed about that. Well, that has come back on iOS 15, but there's a catch to it because you will be able to actually use the new one as well. So if we go ahead and tap right there, you can see I can enter the time manually. I can use the wheel here, but I also can tap anywhere I want, of course, to change the time from here. As easy as that. Tap anywhere you want to edit the number and you will be able to start entering the time manually without having to use the wheel right here. Did you know that all the spotlight search on iOS 15, you can search for images on the web. So if you search for anything right there, it will also show you the web images. So as you can see, I have searched here for the legend itself. So tap on show more, it shows more pictures here. And of course I can 3D touch on it. If I want to open the link, copy the link or share this image directly from here. That of course is very, very easy to do and very convenient. Anytime you search for something, maybe like a person or something else, you will get also web images for your search. So that's about it for this video, guys. These are 15 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running on iOS 15. These are really, really good. And of course, most of them are actually very, very useful at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more if you did. And also don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you guys on the next one.